behold, a motorcycle that has been 40 years in the making. A 1,832cc Pancake 6 road-eating machine. A motorcycle that first started life back in 1975 as a liquid-cooled 1,000cc horizontally opposed 4 that set the standard for what would become known today as the luxury touring market. A motorcycle that feeds a passionate group of dedicated die-hard owners who just love to spend hundreds of accrued vacation time riding under the canopy of the open sky. Wrapped in a bubble of wind-negating comfort, replete with a programmable GPS, XM stereo system, electric adjustable rear suspension, a linked ABS braking system, and over 150 liters of storage. All in one seriously sculpted package. You can even get it with an airbag if you want. Yep, Honda has never stopped tweaking their flagship Halo bike, and it shows. But you don't have to take my word for it. Here's what winemaker and former Goldwing owner Kemp Stewart had to say after a day in the saddle. So Kemp, I don't really know where to start with the questioning on this thing. It, I mean, Honda has been making the Goldwing for 40 years now. Uh, I, I think by now they've got it right. Would you not agree? <laughs> <laughs> I love the bike. Yes, uh, I would absolutely agree. Um, and 640,000 units, um, you know, I don't think there's a lot of folks that are going to be that disappointed. Um, obviously the bike is, uh, has improved over, over time and um, yeah, it's, it's a wonderful piece of kit. I really enjoy driving it. So we've had uh, quite the test with the bike uh, over the last week. You, you've been able to ride it in the pouring rain yeah. and in the blue sky sun. Let's start with the engine itself. I mean, it's buttery smooth, it's torquey, and it's got more than enough horsepower. Would you agree? It's absolutely. Uh, 1,800 cc's, uh, a far cry from the, uh, the 1,100 model that I had. Uh, uh, that was a 1984 model. And um, the transmission, the shifting, uh, really smooth, uh, lots of power. Um, very, very impressed. This is, this is a wonderful, comfortable bike to ride. So uh, it goes, it, yeah. it stops. It stops very well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, on a dime, it's yeah. got... Uh, ABS. Although it's uh, 400 kilograms, just, uh, just over 900 pounds. But the really interesting thing about this, David, it doesn't feel like a heavy bike. Yeah. Um, they've dropped the center of gravity on it. It's, it doesn't feel tippy. And, and I've got to say the 84 really did. Just the um, the turning radius, also um, the uh, the steering unit. It's, it's um, you're able to get in and out of the garage and that sort of thing without. Uh, and then, of course, being able to back uh, back up also. Wonderful feature that I certainly missed on the old bike. You like the reverse, huh? Certainly did. Yeah. You know, we could talk about uh, the mechanicals of the motorcycle forever, but you know, with touring motorcycles, it's all about comfort and protection. So let's talk about the comfort first. Yep. Well, Saddle? <laughs> the whole thing. It feels like I'm sitting in uh, an, an easy chair at home. Uh, not only that, it has uh, the added feature of uh, uh, seat, uh, warm, uh, warm uh, seats and uh, as well as uh, um, handle grips too. Uh, very, very comfortable. And, and for a touring bike, that's what you want. Um, you don't feel after riding this bike for uh, three or four hours that you've been beat up with the wind and all the rest of it. You're in a wonderful cocoon of, uh, of air. And, um, and so, yeah, you don't feel bruised, uh, you feel relaxed, and, and that's what you need for a touring bike. You know, one thing, I got to live with the, the wing for a little bit this last week, and what I really started to appreciate was this integrated luggage system, being able to lock everything at once, unlock everything at once. Did you get a chance to explore the luggage? Absolutely. Um, in fact, I, I was so impressed with the amount of luggage space, I actually went online to find out that there was 120 liters of storage space. So that made me think, you know, this is more than a touring bike. This is also a commuter bike. You could, you could get a week's worth of groceries in here as an example. And that would make the, this purchase very justifiable. What did you think about the fit and finish? You know, we've talked about years of refinement. What did you think of the finish of the bike? <laughs> well, the, the finish is first class. It's very identifiable. It's, a, it's an icon. Uh, there's no doubt that this is a Goldwing. And, uh, 
it doesn't act like it's a, um, a 900 pound bike. Um, uh, I can dipsy doodle around potholes and that sort of thing um, uh, as if it was a, a sport bike. What's the one lasting impression that, uh, that this motorcycle leaves you with? The lasting impression is that it is really a comfortable bike um, uh, that I would want to take on vacation and I would want my wife back here too. Um, yeah, and uh, just cruise and, and really enjoy the, the scenery um, uh, very comfortably. And uh, it really is designed, uh, uh, I suppose, for gray hairs, but uh, boy, it, it means that younger folks uh, are not excluded either. It's, it's a really great, fun bike to drive. I love it. Thanks for joining us today, Kate. David, you did a my pleasure. Job. Thank you.